Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, I've been a little busy since the last video we put out and the last one, you know, I talked about the picking tables and stuff. Um, but now it's time to get back to this. Um, so let's talk about what I've done so far and we'll look at what we're going to do. So the first thing I did was I added the little bits of pavement right here and I added another section right here. Now, you can sort of see, I guess, the, the line where the two pavements meet right here. We'll take care of that in the weathering um, when I come back and, and we'll weather this up. Uh, but what we need to do now is we need to finish up this area back here. And I spent some time, wife and I went out to the campground and I spent some time and I made the sidewalk that's gonna go there, right? That's this piece right here. And I've weathered this a little bit and this is carved in the same way I did this, this sidewalk up here. If you remember, we carved that. I showed you how I did that. Um, this piece is the pre-made sidewalk material that I use normally and this one I, I carved again because because it's on a curve I couldn't get this stuff to do what I wanted it to do so I carved an, another one and we're going to install this one right in here all right but before I put that in there we're going to put the building back up the parking garage and what I found was I found some mounting tape this is a photograph mounting tape um, I bought it for something else that I was doing, um, but this is going to work just fine for that. So I'm just going to peel off the, the backer and we're going to put this into place. And this will hold, I have no doubts. Like I said, the adhesive is much more aggressive than uh, the glue dots I had. So that with that being in, now we can set this into place and this is going to go right here like this all right and you can see that it follows the the white line i put onto the onto the roadway so this we're going to attach with some white caulk and uh we're going to weight that down All right, and now just to make sure that stays down, I'm just gonna put a, uh, a weight. Now this, you've probably seen me use this before. Um, this is a, a steel or an iron brick that I found um, from my father-in-law's house. We were cleaning out his basement and I came across that. I don't know what it was for or why he had it, but it works great for stuff like that because it weighs about 10 to 12 pounds um, just that one little thing. <coughs> and we'll give this one more scrape off for the excess. Like that. Okay. Now, that area is going to be done. We need to let that dry. And then we'll come back. I'll come back afterwards and we'll use sculpt the mold right along these edges of the road here all the way through this whole thing to blend this roadway into the scenery here and that'll start from right back here and we'll do the blending all the way down to there uh, actually we only need to go just this maybe to here this lays nice and flat and the scenery will do a nice job the dirt and all that stuff when we put it in here we'll, we'll do a nice job of blending that in by, on its own but there are some spots here that are a little high um, and I haven't decided yet. Maybe, maybe we'll just run some some super glue underneath there and just push it down, like here, so that it pushes down and it glues. Yeah, maybe maybe that would be better. It's getting a little tight to the tracks here that I don't want to really add sculpt mold. So yeah, I'm gonna say that that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm not gonna do it now, but we're gonna super glue this stuff down in these little areas. We'll squeeze a little bit of super glue under there just to get that to stay down. And then dirt and scenery materials will blend the rest of that in. 
So that's how that's going to go. Now, this area over here, this right here, we want to put our gas station in here. Okay. So this is kind of a an odd shape, right? So it follows down to here. It goes all the way down to about here, and then it goes this way. And I still have pencil lines down in here where it's going to go. And the pencil lines are how I measured out for the styrene sheet that's going to go in there. And that styrene sheet, this also, I made this at the same time I made that piece over there. I made this, okay? And this is one piece of 40,000 thick styrene. And then I carved the sidewalk because I wanted this all one piece. I'm kind of liking the sidewalk carving rather than using the pre-made this pre-made stuff. The pre-made stuff is nice in its place, but I, I'm liking the carving because I can do what I want with it. Um, but you can see here, I added bushes. Um, but some of the stuff that I did, let's see if I can get a good focus here. So I don't know if it shows on the camera, but I carved down the entranceways in the curbing, you know, to have this entranceways in here. You can see there, there, I guess it shows. And then I did a uh, stripe for the for the crosswalk area. And then I did this part as well. Same thing, ca carved down the stuff. And then I did an, another area right here where the gas pumps are going to go. And I carved in the lines into that as well. And then when you look at it from this side, you can see I have curbing that runs down all of these areas here. And it backs up to the sidewalk and there's no curbing on the sidewalk side. So this is what I've done with this. And this took me oh the better part of a day to do including painting and weathering and all. Um, so this is going to be our gas station parking lot. And this is cut to fit right into place right here like this. And that's going to be our parking lot. And I think it looks pretty good. I, I like it. I like it a lot. It fits right in there like that. And then our gas station building will go right across here, right, right here. Gas pumps right up here. And then I, I, I designed it and, and measured it out so that the car wash will fit right here. Okay. And then this other entrance is because we want to put on the side of the car wash on this side, I want to put uh, vacuum cleaners onto the side of the car wash and this would be an entrance and this this in reality if you were looking at it would be a parking lot that continues out past the layout you know and there would be a an area for people to wash their car real quick and then you can go vacuum and things like that so that's how that's all gonna go so now what I want to do is I want to get this piece glued in and then uh, we're gonna um, look at getting the uh, gas station mounted in there. So why don't, why don't we get this glued in first? So we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna cover that with the caulk and weight it down. So let's get that going. All right, so this, this is now all all weighted down um, and we'll come back in a little bit when this is weighted down and we'll look at getting the building put in all right so this is now dried um, we're pretty well in there um, so what I want to do now is I'm actually going to mount the building in here and get that done so that we're all in the same situation here so this block will be done and then this back block is, is done. So let me get the, the gas station right here. And we're going to set that in where it needs to go. So this is going to go, I'm going to put it right up, right up in here, probably about like this. And I just want to make sure with the gas pumps that we are where we need to be. And these are going to go like this. Like this. 
Yeah, I think we'll go just like this. So this is how it's all gonna mount in there. Um, so I just need to mark where the holes are gonna go. And then we're gonna mark this. Yeah, right about right here, right there. And we're gonna mark these holes here. About right there. And about right there. So we have three holes to cut. Got one right here, right here, and right here. So let me get these drilled, and then I'll give you a look as to how this looks um, once this is installed. All right, so there it is. You can see everything's been put in. Now it just needs to get glued down. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, so there you go. So that's going to be the whole layout for the gas station. Now, the car wash that we spoke of in a different video will actually sit right here. And it's going to line up with this exit to the gas station. And then this is the other entrance to the other side of the car wash. So that's how that's going to go. Um, so... Um, let me get a little bit more caulk and we'll set these buildings into place, put a little bit of weight on top, and then that's going to be it. So all I'm going to do to put these down is to take the, the same caulk we've been using, and again, and normally I would use gray, but I don't have any, so I have to use white, and I have to be even more careful that the uh, caulk doesn't come out where I don't want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up. like that. I'm not really going to spread it around. I'm going to let it do its own thing. And we're going to set this up. And I'm going to put it as straight. I'm lining it up straight to this concrete pad here. Like that. Okay, so I'm back and we're looking at the pumps here. And they're totally mounted and dried. Um, if you were paying attention earlier, um, you'll notice that the shell sign right here that's on the canopy, when I originally had it, it was flipped around. So these, the shell writing was back here. And I actually want it on the out, out, outer edge of the platform, which required me to pull this back out, clean everything up, drill new mounting holes for the wires, because those wires are on these set of pumps. I had to re-drill and then I cleaned out the caulk and then I used CA because I can't hold these down. I can't clamp them down um, with the way this is. So I used super glue and I just glued these down at the place, held them for a couple minutes and they're into stay. So it's, it's pretty solid. So this, this area now is done. You know, I say done as far as up to fine detail. You know, I have a sign that goes here for gas prices, the big shell sign. Um, we have the car wash, of course, that's going to go in here. And, the, you know, few fine details that are going to go along with that. Um, but all in all, I, I think we're fairly well set with this block. Okay, so now we have we have a lot more done right so, so now we have all of this done and it's starting to come together so the next thing to do that i have to do is going to build be to build this block right here of buildings that's going to go here and then the other block of buildings that's going to go here now i'm going to rehab more of my old buildings so what's going to happen is these buildings here. So I'm going to take this set of buildings and we're going to rehab this and one other one. Um, I'm going to rehab this one as well. And that's going to take care of these two areas. Um, and it's probably going to take me uh, more than likely a couple of weeks to, to get these done. 
Um, I know some people don't like to see the videos of the buildings because I do a lot of them. Um, but if you'd like to see them, it's gonna, th these buildings here are going to involve separating them again because I don't know if, if you look back through my videos. This, these were the buildings that I did to show how I did lighting in some of my older videos. And that's 180 degrees different from what I'm doing now. Um, so these are going to get redone. Like I said, separating them, I'm going to strip all the paint and then basically start from scratch. And we're going to uh, custom make these buildings to fit into these areas. Um, this one sort of fits here where I want it. I'm going to go like this. Um, this other one is going to require you know a bit more work because obviously you can see it doesn't fit on the road it, it doesn't fit where it goes here it's it's way too big for this so if you'd like to see it um, by all means let me know uh, if not let me know I don't want to waste anybody's time but this is something that I have to do and it's gonna take me a while okay it's gonna it's gonna take me some time it may interfere with me getting out more videos. I don't know um, because this is my focus. I don't really have a lot of plans to do other stuff in the meantime just to put out a video. This is what I'm working on. Um, so anyway, that's that's the idea now. That's what's going to happen with the rest of this. Um, I have to get these redone and relit the proper way the right way interiors and the whole thing and I'm also going to do the upper floors on these buildings that will randomly come on and off like these buildings over here that I did um, this is going to be tied into that whole thing so uh, as I said let me know if you'd like to see it if you would I'm, I'm more than happy to film it if not you know we'll, we'll let it roll and and we'll wait until I get these buildings done and we'll start up the videos again um, so anyway, that's going to be it for this week. Um, that's really all I have. I really don't have anything else to show you. Um, I think the gas station came out pretty good so far. You know, so now it's just a little bit of extra weathering to go underneath here. Uh, some figures, you know, the vehicles and that kind of stuff, the, the fine details, that, all that stuff. That's what's next for that. Um, but I think we got a good start on this new city build. Um, the city's coming together. Um, if you're just finding me for the first time, by all means, you know, subscribe to my channel. Love to have you along watching what I'm doing. Um, you can visit my website at mikestrains.wordpress.com. Um, over there, you can see layouts of this original city layout. And I believe there are pictures of where this used to be, um, how this all laid out originally um, as well as some other photos of my layout I have different areas you know up on there that you can see so anyway that's it for this week thanks for watching and until next time happy modeling